Excited about exploring space and its reach, Haley wants to bring more faith and strength for pediatric cancer patients and money to fund efforts in saving precious lives. We spoke with Haley on the impact of St. Jude on cancer patients and their recovery, along with her take on the preparation process for Inspiration4. Here is the conversation. You know, with your journey with St. Jude and now to the space representing St. Jude and the hope that's associated with it, what would you tell your younger self who got cancer free at St. Jude about yourself and the space mission? I would tell younger me that it gets better, that even though the cancer diagnosis and the treatment is so scary, hold on to hope that there are better days. Um, because there absolutely are. And I would tell younger me the same thing that I now tell my patients, which is having cancer is going to change your life in a great way. And it's going to make you who you are and you'll be stronger because of it. Right. What do you have to say about St. Jude's progress over the years with cancer research? You're a physician assistant there, so you must have a lot of insight. St. Jude has been leading the way for how the world treats pediatric cancer. And will continue. St. Jude won't stop until no child dies from cancer. And it's so important that it's fun. It's, it's so important that the community helps support St. Jude because the cures discovered at St. Jude benefit children all over the world. Right. And let's now talk about the space mission. I'd like to know what the process has been like and what has been the most challenging aspect of it. Again, they are trying to raise $200 million for change use for a children's uh, research hospital. Training for space has been so much fun, and I love it because it's so different than my day-to-day, -day, and I'm getting to do really all these once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Probably the most physically challenging was we climbed a mountain as a crew. It was our crew bonding experience, and we spent three days on the mountain, but that that experience in itself was so uplifting and so empowering, but just, I have enjoyed training so, so much. And we're going to continue training until we launch in two months. Right. What are you the most nervous about? I'm really not nervous. And I think there's just so many different parts of the mission that I'm very excited about. I can't wait to see the views from space and to see the entire planet I can't wait to float around and I can't wait to call my St. Jude patients from space because I think that's going to be very special for them and very special for me. How important do you think is for people in general to, you know, fund this effort? I'm hoping that we can make our goal of $200 million raised for St. Jude because that's going to help so many kids all around the world. And St. Jude is trying to improve pediatric cancer survival rates ever, everywhere. But I, I hope to gain a new perspective from going to space and to share that perspective and continue sharing it with my kids going through cancer treatment and just show them that they can do anything they want to do when they get older. Right. How does your family react to this, Haley? Because you guys have had a connection with NASA. Your brother is also a space uh, engineer, if I'm right. Yes. Um, yes. How, does, how are they feeling? What is the momentum like? They're so supportive and so excited for me. And then also they're so excited for St. Jude because they love St. Jude as much as I do. Yes, of course. You know, just talking a little bit more, I have a little bit of time left with you here. What's the message you like to give to other cancer patients that are going to see you go into space? The amount of hope that's shown through that. I would absolutely tell kids going through cancer treatment everywhere to hold on to hope because it does get better. And to continue having a zest for life and enjoy every day and yeah that just to continue holding on to hope 